Vice President of the Republic, Mr. Ahmed Afif, Designated Minister and Minister for Fisheries and the Blue Economy, Mr. Jean-Francois Ferrari, Ministers, Ambassadors, Principal Secretaries, CEOs, Stakeholders, SFA and staff of the Ministry, members of the media, and all of you tuned in to this live broadcast on our YouTube channel, good afternoon and welcome to the official launching ceremony of the Seychelles aquaculture sector. The Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, has dedicated October 16th as the World Food Day. This year's theme is Our Actions, Our Future, Better Production, Better Nutrition, A Better Environment, and a Better Life. As the Seychelles takes an important leap towards the diversification of its economy by opening up aquaculture, it is imperative that food security remains at the top of the country's agenda. It has been a long journey for the aquaculture team at SFA and all its stakeholders involved in the development of this new sector. The, the vision was to develop a marine aquaculture sector, of which the groundwork started in 2011 with the development of the Mariculture Master Plan, MMP. Today, SFA is launching this sector to local investors by making available licenses for production, research and development, hatchery, nursery, and restorative licenses. To kickstart the ceremony, I now invite the Minister for Fisheries and the Blue Economy, Mr. Jean-François Ferrari, on stage for his keynote address and the launching of the Seychelles Aquaculture. Thank you, my dear. Vice President Afif, thank you for making time to, uh, to be with us today. Colleague ministers, I'm honored of your presence. Excellencies, principal secretaries, SFA board chairman and members, invited guests, colleagues of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you good afternoon. Today, marks the beginning of an exciting journey for the Seychelles fishing industry. And it also indicates that our country is ready to take the route of a new milestone in its development. Many of you will be familiar with the subject of aquaculture due to its foundations within the blue economy strategy of uh, this government and the importance for us to pursue this activity. The government's ultimate goal in developing an aquaculture sector includes, amongst other things, economic diversification, food security, sustainable management of the marine environment, and creation of jobs, namely high-value jobs. The decision was taken by Cabinet in February 2017 to proceed with developing an aquaculture sector which is aligned to the ecosystem's approach to aquaculture, which is a UN FAO guideline to ensure that aquaculture promotes sustainable development, equity and resilience of interlinked so social ecological systems. Now, in other words, ensuring that aquaculture grows suitably within the social and within the ecological context of our country. Aquaculture is today one of the fastest growing global industries. Now accountable, I am told, for supplying 51% of all fish consumed in the world. 51%. The rising demand for fish globally means the world is becoming more and more dependent on aquaculture to meet it, this demand. The global demand for fish is growing year on year. Our oceans just can't keep up with this demand. And aquaculture is the only way that this requirement can be met. In this way, and inevitably, aquaculture supports global fisheries. 
I'd like to thank all my collaborators for their continued patience regarding the development in this sector. This year, we have made good progress with the promulgation of the first aquaculture regulations and its accompanying standards. The regulations were developed based on global best practices to ensure that the sector develops in a well-coordinated and well-regulated manner with the highest of compliance levels. Of course, we needed to find the balance so as not to create regulations which would eventually deter investments. Hence, we developed a series of aquaculture standards that would serve to guide the private sector. Private operators, private investors, and always ensure that the best practices and the ease of be doing business are being observed. Another milestone accom accomplishment was the establishment of the Aquaculture Regulatory Committee that I have the responsibility of chairing. This committee is responsible for the effective and efficient development of the sector and is constituted of key ministries, departments, agencies, civil society, the SCCI, to fully represent all stakeholders. Its mandate is to provide an interdepartmental de focus to coordinate policy, align legislative and institutional structures drive and track aquaculture development progress and make recommendations to my ministry throughout the development of the sector. We now have a real action team for the implementation of the industry over the coming years and I'd like to thank all members of the committee who have and are still giving a lot of their time to this cause. Nevertheless, the main reason we are here today is for the launch, the official launch of the Seychelles aquaculture sector. Something, like I said earlier, which has been a long time coming. The journey for the development of the sector has been long and costly. The Seychelles government has invested and spent a significant amount of resources into in its conception and development, at times begging the question, when are we finally going to see some return on those investments? When? But thankfully, we did not undertake this journey on our own. Various infrastructure and experimental setups have been and are still being funded by the European Commission through the Fisheries Sectoral Development Fund and the 11th European Development Fund, EDF. The European Commission has been one of our closest partners in seeing the fisheries sector develop further with the aim of achieving more sustainable levels. The African Union through NEPAD, was a key supporter during the early development phases. And today, we see the continuous interest being shown by the most recent program, Grow Africa. The World Bank has been an instrumental partner through the Swayofish 3 project as it continues to fund key activities in the development of the aquaculture sector in Seychelles. We also now have a very solid mariculture master plan. Environmental and social impact assessments and an environmental management plan to work with. Our regulatory framework is complete and now we will be able to proceed with commercial, further research and restorative projects. 
Economic feasibility studies have been done for many species, and the commercial viability looks good, especially on some of the most prominent species. It will take time, but we will build on our own Seychelles brand, which will no doubt be a collaborative marketing effort on both the aquaculture and the fisheries sector. I see aquaculture as having a very strong symbiotic relationship with tourism, the environment, and the opportunities for this interrelationship is to be exploited further. The potential is immense for Seychelles. This could be a great business opportunity for the private sector to explore as the possibilities are huge. This is why I'm so pleased to see the Ambassador of Japan, the Embassy of Russia amongst us today. We are opening our doors for investment and uh, we hope this can resonate well in your countries. On the local market, our hotels and restaurants will undoubtedly benefit from these consistent fish volumes, crabs, sea urchins, and other fish products that would be readily available. Imported seafood should reduce over time. And who knows, we could become known as a seafood destination. Indeed, our fisheries industry, fishermen, and fish processors will benefit from the establishment of this sector with new investment in land-based and ocean-based facilities. The development of a globally recognized, high-quality Seychelles brand for fish and fish products will open up new export opportunities with the consistent volumes from aquaculture, making it easier to establish new markets such as in mainland China, Hong Kong, the Special Administrative Region, Russia, and who knows, maybe as far away as Japan. New jobs and businesses will be created through the value chain for Seychellois, which will further grow and support existing fisheries activities. This will include fish feed, aquaculture technology, boats and engines, water pumping equipment, purification, reticulation, and storage. Specialized electronic component in, in hatcheries, water pumps, filters, tanks, fiberglass works, all will be needed, and this will further complement the existing business landscape. I am confident that a whole new services industry should emerge including labs, fish veterinarian services, specialized plumbing, electrical contractors, installation and repairs. An important component of the sector develop development will be the Human Capital Development Plan, which is undertaken, which was undertaken by a consultancy, a consultancy firm and which is about to be concluded. And this will streamline education and training in the new sector. Upskilling and retraining will be needed, especially to cope with the new normal after COVID-19. New aquaculture education and awareness programs have been carried out in schools and among the general public. We will need our nation to embrace this sector and to pursue careers involving the marine sciences, microbiology, aquaculture technology, biology, and so on and so forth. The aquaculture sector will have limitless, highly skilled jobs to offer. And I urge our young citizens to take up a career in this new exciting field and to explore the blue economy sphere to its fullest. 
the subject matters of climate change and food security will be included in our research, including subjects such as coral gardening and growing techniques, which is also being implemented by various NGOs and this has been going on for a few years now. It is also possible to de develop aquarium fish production to, ta to tap into this economi economically attractive business. Local investors will have many opportunities to invest throughout this new value chain. Foreign investors will be welcomed and will be allowed into this new sector, which in turn will strengthen and diversify our economy. It will make us more robust against global threats, such as a pandemic, terrorism, climate change, which causes decreased global tourism, as well as the impacts of global warming which may negatively impact fisheries. On the question of developing aquaculture, on outer islands, the opportunities for investors to develop those activities have been well researched and are documented. Based on the results of those studies, we expect further aquaculture opportunities, such as prawns and sea cucumbers, will become apparent as more and more entrepreneurs start entering this new sector. At this point, I would like to thank all the SFA employees who are with us today. Thank you for your hard work. I would like also to thank representatives of government departments and the private sector consultants who have all worked so hard to get us to this point. And even when I expressed my frustrations and doubts, you did not blink, but kept pushing the ideas forward. Thank you all. Thank you, all of you. And thank you, CEO Elizabeth and Project Manager Aubrey, for your efforts. In particular, we are immensely proud to have developed a world-class master plan that is based like I said earlier, on the ecosystem's approach to aquaculture. Let us not kid ourselves. There are numerous risks in aquaculture, and this means that the sector will have to be tightly managed, monitored, and controlled. For this, we have developed a dedicated monitoring and control unit specific to aqu aquaculture. All investments and business plans and applications for aquaculture licenses will be carefully scrutinized and assessed for economic feasibility and environmental risks before any approval is given. Minister Vidot will be pleased to hear that at the top of the list there is still the ease of doing business which is central to our strategy. Our pursuit is to develop a sector which is environmentally responsible, ut utilizes global best practices, innovative technology, a sector which aligns with our fisheries development goals and creates skilled jobs opportunities for Seychellois. We have already started forming strategic relations with leading global scientific institutions who specialize in aquaculture and will be available to assist us in the development of this sector. We look forward, therefore, to receiving applications from our local private sector and the SFE staff are readily available to advise everyone accordingly. In concluding, and on behalf of the Seychelles Fisheries Authority, I wish for this new sector to, to work in collaboration with fisheries and to support and further 
optimize our existing fisheries value chain. I once again ask you to be patient with us. This is a strategic sector development path that we are pursuing. It will be built on indigenous species and it will need considerable investment into research and development work. But this is the environmentally cautious and correct approach for us. It will be unique to Seychelles. The Seychelles way, as Aubrey calls it. It now gives me immense pleasure and honor to declare the Seychelles aquaculture sector officially launched. I thank you. Thank you, Minister. Uh, we will now excuse uh, VP as he has another engagement. Thank you, VP, for your presence here today. It has been a long journey over the years, filled with studies and consultations with various stakeholders, which has led to this histori historical event today. We will now follow a video presentation which outlines the process for the development of the aquaculture in Seychelles. <laughs> Discussions for Seychelles to explore the possibility of creating an aquaculture industry started in 2007 with a vision to produce a premium quality basket of seafood products for both local and international market. Seychelles' economy is heavily reliant on tourism and wild-caught fisheries, both of which are volatile and may be easily influenced by international crises such as the recent global pandemic of COVID-19. In the effort to diversify its economy, the government of Seychelles have been exploring different economic avenues such as aquaculture. Seychelles is not only strategically located where export to various markets is an advantage given its proximity and accessibility to various trade transactions. Seychelles has an assortment of high-value indigenous marine species, which is in high demand locally and internationally. Over the years, Seychelles has heavily invested in its wild-caught fisheries industry, creating various infrastructures such as deep-sea ports, which also facilitates the operation of the aquaculture industry. Feasibility studies have been done and independently peer-reviewed. This has led to the development of research-based policies and subsequently the development of the aquaculture regulation, which came into effect since August 2021. Equally, the government of Seychelles has invested in various essential facilities to kickstart the industry. This includes a multi-species broodstock, acclimation and quarantine facility located at Providence. This facility prepares the fish for life and reproduction in captivity. The fingerlings will eventually be supplied to aquaculture operators where 11 aquaculture development zones have already been earmarked with the potential to produce around 50,000 metric tons of fin fish. After careful consideration, a number of species are being recommended by the Seychelles Fisheries Authority to kickstart the aquaculture industry. This includes emperor snapper, mangrove snapper, collector urchin, black tiger prawns, among many other species. The government of Seychelles is putting much emphasis on encouraging local investors to participate in this new venture, which will not only be another source of revenue for the country, but it will also create jobs. Mr. Aubrey L'Espérance from SFA has been the face of aquaculture from its inception and has led his team throughout the various development stages of this new sector. He is the head of aquaculture at SFA. I now call Aubrey on stage for his opening remarks. Designated Minister and Minister for Fisheries and the Blue Economy, Mr. Jean-François Ferrari, uh, Ministers, um, Ambassadors, Principal Secretaries, SFA Board Chairmen and Members, CEOs, Guests, Members of the Press, Ladies and Gentlemen, good afternoon. The journey to develop the Seychelles aquaculture sector has been long, and it was worth every minute of it for me. The amount of passion and dedication 
behind the initiative cannot be measured. Not forgetting the invaluable support from the rest of the Seychelles Fishing Authority, the Ministry of Fisheries and the Blue Economy, other ministries, agencies, civil society, private sector, and other partners. Now that the Seychelles aquaculture sector is officially launched, one of our key priorities over the next five years is for the SFA as the regulatory authority, along with the Seychelles Investment Board, to drive investments in sustainable aquaculture in Seychelles. Our decision to adhere to the ecosystem's approach to aquaculture development is one that was not taken lightly. We believe firmly in its triple bottom line approach, which looks at not only the economic benefits that could be generated, but it also considers the environmental and social aspects. That being said, investors are being encouraged to, to take note of this important factor when considering investing in aquaculture in Seychelles. In Seychelles, the population consumes over 50% of all its total protein, as the minister said, its total protein intake per capita from fish and fisheries products. This means that fish is and will still be a very important food source for the country. Ensuring food security will remain one of our highest priorities for aquaculture development in Seychelles. The main reason being that the fishery indu fisheries industry continues to suffer from a steady decline in artisanal demersal fish catches while it still must sustain the country's needs for fish. The demand comes from the local population of over 98,000 and its tourism arrivals, which stood at over 380,000 in 2019, pre-COVID pandemic. This problem also provides an opportunity for long-term plans regarding possible restocking programs to help with the various fisheries management plans. One of those fisheries in particular, the sea cucumber fisheries, provide an interesting start as, as some of the local entrepreneurs have already shown great interest in experimenting with this species. Climate change, as the minister pointed out, is a potential risk that is affecting the fisheries sector. Some previous reports have shown that potential, the potential shifts in favorable fishing areas by industrial fishing fleets targeting pelagic fish, such as tuna. This may pose a, risk, a significant risk to the Seychelles fisheries sector and we need to adapt and mitigate any negative impacts that climate change may pose for our existing industries. The aquaculture sector is being seen as a good option to address this potential risk to our economy. Besides, safeguarding our wild stocks will mean safeguarding our tradition as a fisheries nation, and most importantly, the livelihood for many of our fishermen as well. Nevertheless, the aquaculture sector faces its own dilemma when it comes to climate change. Hence, various strategies have been developed to ensure that it succeeds in its mission to establish itself as a new economic pillar in the Seychelles. The careful site selection for aquaculture operations is key in lowering the risks in the long term, be it on land or in the sea. Issues such as harmful algal blooms pose significant threats to aquaculture operation and fisheries activities alike. Therefore, we started a rigorous water quality monitoring program in 2018 around some parts of Mahe Island to gather data on various parameters such as dissolved oxygen levels and salinity. This will provide a better overview to us as the regulator of the before and after picture to when the commercial operation start. The aim here is to detect any ad adverse environmental events such as harmful algal blooms and have a benchmark to better regulate commercial activities when they, once they start. We have taken steps to also ensure that we adopt the most appropriate technologies available which will adhere to important aspects of the regulatory framework such as good animal welfare and reducing environmental impacts. Carefully researched biodiversity protocols and standard operating procedures for commercial operators are incorporated in our aquaculture standards to address these. 
Creating a more integrated value chain will complement the aquaculture and fishery sectors through the comprehensive branding program which we have undertaken. As you can see, we have already rebranded ourselves and this is only the first step towards a long list of marketing activities to come. The aim is to build on the existing strength of the country and to further consolidate the market development of the Seychelles aquaculture and Seychelles seafood brand. We will need the cooperation and support of the key players in the seafood processing industry, as well as to achieve the full potential of the aquaculture and fisheries sectors. Hence, I call on you uh, on your continued engagements towards this program. We have spent a lot of time focusing on the human capital aspect of the new aquaculture sector. Work by the, our consultant, CH Academy from Portugal, will soon wrap up and the recommendations will be vital to guiding the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Employment to better guide their respective policies and action plans. We have been working very closely with the educational institutions in Seychelles to also educate and sensitize students about the opportunities in the aquaculture sector throughout the years. The Aquaculture Department is therefore fully committed to work towards achieving the Seychelles aquaculture sector's goals and objectives. We must appreciate the team's effort as well as other staff from SFA and the Ministry for this beautiful setup and ceremony today. I take this opportunity to thank them and the consultants of Bronze Africa who have worked with us on the sector's inception through to its implementation. Their valuable inputs and mentorship have been very much appreciated. This is such a momentous event for all of us and I feel proud when I look at the young and vibrant team that is going to work alongside me on such an exciting endeavor. I am sure that they will, they will be well equipped with the best knowledge and experience to contribute towards the further development of the aquaculture sector in Seychelles. I thank you for your kind attention. Thank you, Aubrey, and congratulations to you and your team on the launching of the aquaculture sector. We will now take a short entertainment break, and I invite, invite local artist Thomas Knowles, who will perform a song specifically for this occasion. Bon après-midi tout le monde. Et moi pour cette chanson je vous ai d'accord yo là comme on gagne demander tellement vite mais avec un fille pour pour faire un petit travail mon mon assistant ça fait ensemble mais c'est moi qui m'ont les dit qui euh l'écono ça à quoi quel chemin qu'on a poussé c'est vraiment 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 important à cause par ami ici Cindy ça garçon Cindy pour pour sécurité nous manger nous avons respect nous parler bonheur nous 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 on connaît pas en retard nous allons plus vite Et pour ça dans la mer petit mien moi quoi nous tout nous connais si nous pas si évitement nous en faut pas de problème des mais moi ça c'est un petit un petit sans pour vous OK merci Quel chien est très important dans le développement de nos pays pour augmenter nos stocks manger pour nos sources de protéines. Passons dans la mer, petit fille, pour nous noisir vite, sur le pacte de l'histoire contrôle, des bains nos enfants qui ont des problèmes. 
Félicitations, bonne pêcheur qui tombait les vélos en mer. Voilà la pêche poisson frais qui bien bon pour la santé. Félicitations, nos cosgades qui tombaient l'eau la mer. Pour protéger nous, ils contre la paix illégale. Divan y soufflé, la pluie tombée, l'orage y crié, ses clairs y frappé. Sa pauvre petit PC, il pousse son canot pour lier à la paix à cause de misère. Quand il peut aller, mon pas qu'on est, le bon providence, mon pâti là, il vend son poisson pour lui son et son famille. Quand il peut aller, mon pas qu'on est, derrière providence, mon pâti là, il vend son poisson pour lui son et son famille. Merci pour SF, tous ces efforts qu'ils ont pu faire pour préserver nos ressources, pour un développement soutenable. Merci, bon scientiste, tout ça recherche qu'ils ont pu faire pour donner nous bon l'information, le développement, nous les qui Félicitations, bon PC qui tombait les vélos en mer. Voilà la paix, bon poisson, qui bon pour la santé. Félicitations, nos cosgades qui tombait les vélos en mer pour protéger nous, ils contre pirates étrangers. Merci. Thousand miles from anywhere In the middle of an ocean Lies the pearl of the ocean Seychelles, my native land I'm going back to the Seychelles World the clock strikes twice I'm going back to the Seychelles Isles of Paradise I left my island long ago I wanted to see the world I found out wherever I go That I can't forget that girl I'm going back to the Seychelles World the clock strikes twice I'm going back to the Seychelles Isles of Paradise Victoria, here I come Soon I hear your clock again Oh, how happy I will be Among my people all so free Oh, how I miss that deep blue sea The green sceneries all around Soon I will settle down Somewhere in my hometown I'm going back to the Seychelles Where the clock strikes twice I'm going back to the Seychelles Isles of Paradise I'm going back to the Seychelles Where the clock strikes twice I'm going back to the Seychelles, Isles of Paradise. C'est seul mon petit pays, y'a mon petit paradis, 
avec bon joli fille dans un bikini. Moi, mon content mari n'a pas comment lire. Marie, mon petit mari, c'est mon les bras. Marie, 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 mon content ou pour toujours. Marie, 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 mon content ou pour la vie. C'est celle mon petit pays, il y a un petit paradis. Avec bonne jolie fille dans un bikini. Mon mon content mari n'a pas comment lire. Marie, mon petit mari, toi tombe dans mon les bras. Marie, 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 mon content ou pour toujours. Marie, 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 mon content ou pour la vie. Bas-moi ici, bas-moi là-bas, bas-moi mon doudou. Bas-moi ici, bas-moi là-bas, l'eau mon quatre la sou. Bas-moi mon doudou, moi donne toi cinq sous. L'année prochaine, on le visite à quoi qu'elle tient. Bas-moi pas ici, bas-moi là-bas, bas-moi mon doudou. Bas-moi pas ici, bas-moi là-bas, moi mon quatre la sou. Bah mon mon doudou, tonto mon men ou tine, un beau poisson grillé, sorti d'aqua quel tchè. Mon corps rappelle, les nous tchèn qu'aux enfants. La babo valon, mon tchè montre ou nazé. Ou dis moi, vous envie la pêche, c'est un petit poisson. Mon pomme men ou dans un bassin, ou boit le tchèn pour un dem, quoi qu'il tchè. Bas-moi ici, bas-moi là-bas, bas-moi mon doudou. Bas-moi pas ici, bas-moi là-bas, l'eau mon quatre la zou. Bas-moi mon doudou, moi donne-toi cinq sous, cinq sous tous les jours. Dans un an, il y a fait beaucoup. Maladie d'amour, maladie de la jeunesse. Si tu l'aimes que moi, Restez tout près de moi, oh maladie d'amour, maladie de la vieillesse aussi. Si tu l'aimes que moi, restez tout près de moi. Fille costée au bord moi, laisse-moi trapper l'en mer. Moi envie de faire au bonheur, point tout la reine flair dans mon solisade. S'il vous plaît décidez, sentant mon pour espérer. Mon prend les temps pour étudier mon voisin sous même qui pour faire mon avenir. Nous rester dans même village, nous les coule ensemble dans même classe. Merci. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Knowles, for the beautiful and patriotic performance that will surely put us in the Creole spirit. Venturing into new and unfamiliar territory will always bring its fair share of doubt, unreadiness, and criticism. The same has been said about aquaculture throughout its development. Hopefully, this presentation by the Assistant Manager for Aquaculture, Mrs. Veronica Uzis, will shed more light on this new sector. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Veronica, and I work in the aquaculture department at the Seychelles Fishing Authority. So we'll quickly go over the Seychelles aquaculture journey. So the government of Seychelles has made lots of effort to diversify the economy. And in line with this objective, the Blue Economy Strategy is 
for sustainable economic development based around an ocean-based economy. And the government's ultimate goals in developing the national blue economy roadmap included four things. That's the economic diversification, food security, sustainable management of the marine environment, and creation of jobs, notably high value jobs. Before we go any further, I know a lot of you know what aquaculture is, but for those that don't know, aquaculture is basically the farming of aquatic organisms in water. That can be fresh water or seawater. And this is used mainly for production of food for human consumption, enhancing wild fish, shellfish, and plant stocks for harvest, restock, restoring populations of threatened wild fish and invertebrates, rebuilding coral reefs. We have a lot of NGOs that's doing that already in Seychelles, production of nutritional, industrial, and pharmaceutical compounds, and providing live fish and invertebrates for aquariums, which is a multi-billion dollar industry. But in the Seychelles, we will, you will hear the word mariculture a bit more because this is the specialized branch of aquaculture involving the cultivation of marine organisms in seawater. We don't have a lot of fresh water here, but we have a lot of seawater. Why is Seychelles ideal for aquaculture? Amongst, amongst many reasons, um, aqua, Seychelles is ideally located for export to Asia and UA, UAE, which then can then go on to other continents. And we benefit from being a small island development state. We have a large size of our EZ. We have indigenous species in high demand overseas. We have vi high value species such as our bourgeois and also for the diversification of the economy to supplement the local market seasonally. Uh, we already have in existing infrastructure from fisheries that are deep sea um, ports, research and development for the sciences. The Seychelles emerging aquaculture industry seeks to incorporate a diversity of candidate species with the aim of providing premium quality basket of seafood products to both local and export markets. So there's lots of opportunity for high quality mariculture based on the production of marine fin fish and marine invertebrates. The journey started in 2007 when um, there was an aquaculture economic opportunities was identified. And later in early 2009, there was a scoping study to identify the different opportunities that comes with aquaculture. Later in May 2011, SFA commissioned the Seychelles Mariculture Master Plan, and that com was completed in January 2016, which followed with an EI ESI, Environment and Social Impact Assessment, which was completed in 2016. And 2017 saw so the commencement of the implementation of, 20, of, of the aquaculture, which was approved by the High Level Aquaculture Committee. In 2020, so the gazetting of the aquaculture regulations, and today, October 2021, the official launch of the aquaculture sector. The Fisheries Act governs the aquaculture development and activities in the Seychelles, which is, and then the regulations for aquaculture in the Seychelles provides the legal instrument for aquaculture. And these regulations are guided by the Seychelles National Aquaculture Policy, which was developed in the context of many um, national strategies and policies. The Seychelles National Aquaculture Policy has got eight policy statements, um, which talks about good governance in the aquaculture sector, policy on coordinated support for the development of aquaculture sector, aquaculture products and market studies, market policies, amongst others. And the vision for aquaculture in the Seychelles is a small but internationally competitive knowledge-based industry contributing to local food security and supplying international niche markets for high-value fish products, which is guided by the international best pra management practices in accordance with the principles of the ecosystem's approach to aquaculture and ecological sustainability. So all the forms of aquaculture was developed um, with the, to meet the tripe bottom line objectives, which is the economic prosperity, environmental quality, and social justice. And the Seychelles aquaculture standards are described in Regulation 18. The Seychelles aquaculture standards provide complementary regulatory details to the regulations and failure to adhere to the standards is an offense. 
So there are various aquaculture standards, namely sustainable use areas, responsible effluent in waste management, responsible prawn farming in ponds, responsible sea cucumber farming, ranching, and stock enhancement, amongst others. As mentioned by the Minister and Aubrey, the Seychelles aquaculture sector is being developed according to the FAO and VAR ecosystem approach to aquaculture, which considers the wider ecosystem and all its socio-ecological interactions with other sectors. So the EAA has three principles. That's the aquaculture should be developed in the context of ecosystem functions and services with no degradation of these beyond their resilience. And aquaculture should improve human well-being and equity for all relevant stakeholders, as well as aquaculture should be developed in the context of other sectors, policies, and goals. In 2016, the Environment and Social Impact Assessment concluded, I quote, that it is the opinion of the Environmental Assessment Practitioners, EAP, that subject to compliance with the recommended mitigation measures, which are detailed in the ESMP, the proposed new aquaculture has significant positive aspects and acceptability, acceptably low negative physio, biophysical and social cultural impacts which can be managed by suitable monitoring and management interventions. It is the opinion of the EAP that it should be approved on the basis that all overall the positive impacts outweigh the negative impacts. Unquote. So we have various aquaculture zones. Um, which has been earmarked. For example, we have land-based zones, inshore zones, and offshore zones, which all of them have their own policies and their own um, re um, criteria that goes with it. We have also demarcated 11 aquaculture development zones around Mahe, Prale, and Ladig. And for the aquaculture sector, we have our five-year implementation plan is to focus on high-value species, example snappers, groupers, and other fin fish, and the total area that is identified for the production, total coastal area is 52 square kilometer, and with an estimated potential production of 50,000 metric tons, and this is estimated to, pr to produce, to create around 2,000 jobs, and we foresee new export markets to Japan and the Southeast Asia, and obviously there's potential for investment in fin fish production and other in businesses, and also there's potential for collaboration in R&D. The government of Seychelles has invested in a few infrastructures. One of them is the Brutsok Acclimation and Quarantine Facility at Providence, and this has got two phases. The first phase is done, um, and this is a multi-species quarantine and acclimation facility for wild-caught broodstock. And this is where we prepare them for life and reproduction in captivity. The second phase will be a hatchery and nursery. And the strategic objective for these facilities is to provide scientific and institutional support to aquaculture operators and also for production of fingerlings to supply the aquaculture operators. The other facility that we have, which is at the... Um, Maritime Academy is the sea urchin facility. We call it SURF. And this is where we keep our Trypnustus gratilla sea urchins for production. Uni is the product of sea urchins, which is derived from the gonads, consumed mainly in places like Japan. And the strategic objective of this program is to develop production protocols to meet market demand, market development, and distribution channels for investors. For investors. We also have some cages in the ocean, and these are our pilot projects. So we have cages that's close to the BAQF, and it's to hold broodstock and future grow out for the candidate species. So this facility de um, demonstrates facilities for marine fin fish cage culture, it's for training and education, and it's also pro it's a business case, it proves business case for marine fin fish farming in Seychelles. The other project that we envisage of doing is the Integrated Aquaculture Hub at the Gantas B XBBC site. And this will be a multi-species aquaculture production facility, including vertebrate, marine finfish, and marine ornamental fish hatcheries and production systems. And the objective of this is to produ produce juveniles and fingerlings for, to purchase by aquaculture operators, as well as for research and development. There will be various licenses which, we, um, which people can uh, 
can buy from aquaculture, um, hatchery nursery licenses, production, research and development, and restorative, for example, for our coral farms. And uh, we have had various market research in various countries, for example, Taiwan in Japan, Hong Kong, Thailand, and Singapore, and Norway. And the, the objective of these was for ground truthing and market assumptions, and to understand investment potential in, in Seychelles' future industry, and to create partners in aquaculture, science, and technology with these other countries. There are various species that is sought after, for example, our brown marbled grouper, emperor snapper, and all of the other species on the screen. Our sea grapes, we have some of the species in our aquarium at the back, which you can have a look after. To conclude, the Seychelles depends heavily on the ocean for food security and economic development. The Blue Economy Initiative aims to create economic diversification, and aquaculture has the potential to become a new pillar of the economy. I thank you for your attention, and more information can be seen on our website. Thank you, Veronica, for your insightful and very informative presentation about the new aquaculture sector. We will now follow another video presentation showcasing some of aquaculture interns and work-based experienced students working within the aquaculture department, and we will hear about their experiences and ideas. L'école Kim décide pour nous faire nos internships pour l'aquaculture. À cause, il y a des choses qui nous préfèrent et pour apprendre de nouveaux quelque chose et pour gagner un peu plus de knowledge. Je suis en place pour nous faire avec mon école pour me faire un attachement et je connais ça pour un bon expérience pour moi. Je suis en train de faire des choses qui sont faites en termes de fichiers et je connais ça qui peut apprendre beaucoup. Um, le mot fini, ça attachment. Well, je me suis décidé faire mon internship pour SFA à cause de la madame de jeunes l'année. Et l'année passée, mon classe, je suis venu faire une visite ici et aussi que l'IQF, côté pour la province. Et je trouve que c'est très intéressant, surtout côté de la Chine. Je suis venu venir apprendre plus de la espèce. Je suis venu faire plus de la salle, comme les poissons. On est même dans mes mains, le cycle clé pour la pêche. Les temps passent en entier, passent en partie. Moi, mon travail est quand tu as posé mon compte dans mon affaire la pêche, après on t'a voulu qu'on avait plus dans mon affaire en bas de la salle. Après on t'a voulu voir d'autres. Quand tu n'y es en cours de maman. a familiar experience from taking care of the birds, the chickens, the poisson, feed and all. Ki pa ekak sos ki mo pou kapabli ye. Ansama avec bon collègue travail, ban kin guide nou, ban kin montre nou kwa et ki manye pou fè. Zot an bon bon leadership, zot ini ensemble, zot fè travail fun et pou mo mo to sa ban kek sos ki ban bon experience et ban kek sos ki memorable ki mo pa pou sa men li ye, pa pou fasil li ye. We want to help people in more terms of bank procedure. We can help people in their personal spawn. We want to help people in bank zoos and if need. We want to help people in fish feeding too. We want to help people in space. We want to help people in the facility. We want to help people in the experience. We want to help people in the future. We want to help people in the future. We want to help people in the future. Pour des activités tout le monde. Les matchs commencent ici. Mon chien a pris un peu plus de sirachine. Mon bâche a beaucoup de poisson. So, mon apprend beaucoup de sirachine et aussi ben quelque chose qui est fait ici. Pareil pour gommer qui mes autres fertilisants et aussi ma bonne chine pour du qui ma les autres manger quoi qu'ils font les courses et un quelque chose moi tu t'entends ici le zoo chalamas gommer pour bonne chine pour filles autres 
pour ça en ce moment et la maman aussi et des masses comment et nous tutis beaucoup ouais on tutis beaucoup starfish de les bâches comment elle reste là pendant quand elle veut faire des sections mais tu vois quoi qu'il y en a un de ça va le tuer oui il va mettre une fuite de fish cleaning oxygène les voies de poisson après oxygène les voies avec ses antines cleaning absorbe mon mal de pied mon coup de tarte quelque chose mon coup de pas quelque chose mon coup de pas nos poissons une arrière mon coup de pas une Dans les fêtes, c'est mon choix pour avoir un plus développé, d'un plus grand ampleur et plus en avance ici. Nous n'avons pas besoin d'un loin pour nous avoir des lots, vu que nous avons des gens entourés avec l'amour. Nous sommes nos services à qui nous avons des gens en an, pour nous agrandir ce qui nous a déjà commencé. Pour moi, dans les fêtes, c'est mon choix pour avoir un choix pour nous avoir plus développé et qui va aussi gagner nos mains de partout. Je vous remercie de tout le monde, de tout le monde, de ce qu'il y a eu comment se faire et que vous avez eu de plus. Dans le futur, je vais vous dire plus de mon mari pour plus d'intérêt dans les marines studies, vu que je connais beaucoup d'opportunités pour faire des studies et il y a beaucoup de choses intéressantes, vu que vous avez eu un vaste et il y a eu un tas de choses pour apprendre et mon mari est un métier très intéressant et il y a beaucoup de choses vu que nous avons besoin qu'on sert plus la marée et mon poilier a beaucoup de choses pour faire. Oui, moi, je ne sais pas si je beaucoup plus d'espèces de l'aquaculture. Si tu es ici, tu es capable de parler, là, tu es capable de faire mode crabe et aussi différentes espèces de poissons. Je ne sais pas si je suis capable de faire ici, dans le CC. Il est capable de faire beaucoup d'opportunités pour nous. Je suis fait de la classe, je suis fait de la science, comme si il est capable de faire beaucoup de pour nous. Il est capable de faire beaucoup de choses et beaucoup d'opportunités de voir ce qui vient avec. Et je suis un petit peu de bonzine pour qu'on puisse faire un job pour qu'on puisse faire un job. Que tout se passe, c'est qu'il y a des choses qui ne sont pas connues. On vient croiser ces faits pour continuer. Pour ma mère, il y a encore une fois une liste de vins. Donc on est plus plus de mon affaire, poisson et des gossages. Seychelles will no doubt be a great way to start a new collaboration with our partner countries in the region. I now have the pleasure to invite Fisheries Management and Aquaculture Consultant, Mr. Aubrey Harris, who is also an SFA board member, to present an overview of aquaculture in the Indian Ocean Rim region. Thank you, um, designated minister, Ferrari, ministers, Excellencies, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, not so long ago I had the opportunity to lead a program of technical assistance to the Indian Ocean Rim Association on fisheries and aquaculture. And this is a perspective across the Indian Ocean. Now the structure of this presentation so first, capturing a little bit of the findings of a review that was done when I was heading this group. Looking at aquaculture production across the Indian Ocean. We've heard of the global figures. How about the Indian Ocean? Categorizing aquaculture. How does it exist in the different countries? governance and sector development approach. A very important aspect that you will see later. Now this, this presentation comes from work that I did leading a group and most of it was done by a person called Pierre-Philippe Blanc 
and uh, it also got presented in a webinar not so long ago last month. So, a little bit of production. 17% of the world production of aquaculture comes from the Indian Ocean. And as you can see there, um, in fact, all evidence points to the potential of the Indian Ocean being significantly greater than what it is at the moment. But across the Indian Ocean, three members have more aquaculture production than the capture, capture fisheries production. A little bit of this, this perspective. Aquaculture went from 4.6 million tons in 2000 to 26 million tons in 2018. It has doubled pretty well every five years. And on, on the trajectory, you will see this tremendous increase of production which has taken place. And across the Iowa countries, the Iowa countries are all the Indian Ocean countries, all the countries around the Indian Ocean, starting from South Africa, going up across the east, north, over to Australia. And within, within the Indian Ocean, aquaculture is 46% of the fisheries production against capture fisheries, which is 54%. Significant increase albeit a little less than the global production, as you've heard, which is slightly more than the capture fisheries production. And five countries, and you can see these five countries, Indonesia, the, the, big, the big producing countries are Indonesia, over 14 million tons of aquaculture production, India, Bangladesh, Australia, Iran, Malaysia, and you can see all the, other, all the other countries, they also have aquaculture production, but on a much smaller scale. And you will see later in what context. Now, this exercise enabled a review of the aquaculture sector, and it, it took into consideration a number of aspects. The farming systems, the model of aquaculture, whether it's industrial, whether it's a small-scale enterprise, small-scale subsistence. So it took a, a wide range of considerations to categorize what form aquaculture takes. And of course, you will see across the countries it varies a lot. And of course, as all categorizations, there are some simplifications involved. But you can put them in three in three categories. Mature aquaculture sector development, emerging aquaculture sector, and high technical aquaculture development. Now, mature aquaculture. And this takes place pretty well across the northern part of the Indian Ocean, from Bangladesh, India, um, Malaysia, um, uh, Indonesia, Thailand. And there, this has been on for several years. They're very dynamic. Um, they have pre-existing marketing conditions and, and uh, traditional, cultural, the business approach, very important, governance policies, and technical knowledge access. That's that mature sector we have an emerging aquaculture sector. And this is after several decades of development projects and national development plans. The aquaculture remains nascent. It's still small, it's still emerging, with low levels of production, and even some timely development can be noticed. Seychelles sits in there. So does many countries next to us, um, Mozambique, Tanzania, Kenya, 
um, Somalia, Yemen, many of the countries sit in that, Madagascar, sit in that, in that segment. And then, of course, there's high technical aquaculture, aquaculture development. And some members around, some of the countries around, have chosen to develop this as a high-end, value-based. And this form requires infrastructure, but importantly, lots of technical, technical um, expertise and technology. Some of the countries that have in, adopted this approach is Australia, Singapore, UAE, South Africa, even Mauritius. So from, from looking at all these countries, what are some of the things, some of the lessons, some of the things that we have seen? Well, it's not just a matter of producing fish. It is part of a complex value chain that is itself influenced by a range of environmental, societal, and governmental factors that makes the difference between a successful or a failed initiative. And looking across these IOR countries, the key points that come out is that there must be a good environment for agriculture development and governance. The structures, inputs, and small scale, the, for small scale agriculture development, these are very important. And in fact, for large scale as well. Knowledge and technology the importance of strengthening human capacity and communication. Support for business investment and economic development and a sustainability approach. Now this, this comes from FAO. Agriculture has failed to develop adequately in many parts of the developing world, producing unsatisfactory and often ephemeral results. Experts agree that limited or lacking economic incentives for aquaculture activities has been one of the major causes of its poor or sluggish short-lived performance. So good environment, what does it mean? Good environment is this enabling environment which, for which government is very, is crucial. This is the crucial environment that government has to provide. Policy and regulation, recognition of the sector, land planning, connection with the private sector. And across this circle of quadrants that you can see, you can see the details, the policies that are needed, the enforcement. Important to realize that sometimes to the benefit and sometimes not to the benefit. Aquaculture is tagged in as part of fisheries, whereas some countries decide to separate this quite uniquely on its own. Political support, planning, areas, conflicts, and support for business, support costs, seed feed, export markets. Inputs, critical in aquaculture. As soon as you, you start in aquaculture, seed and feed are critical issues. And receive, having that at low cost is extremely important. But also the laboratories, the infrastructure, extension services that exist in the country. And vital strengthening of human capacity and communication. Absolutely vital. The main cause, so the main cause uh, of what one person considered uh, the change or the progress of aquaculture is when we stopped thinking of it as an art and we thought of it as a science. But technical support, technical knowledge, education, universities, communications, all vitally important. And a, another extremely important area. Access to capital support, market orientated. A lot of aquaculture, 
projects and initiatives have come awry for the lack of these two. All effort to promote agriculture products is articulated as marketing approaches. Marketing is vital. And then, of course, there's the sustainability approach. And to have a sustainable agriculture industry, you must have good markets and value chain, a good understanding of the existing agriculture and its value chains, or if you don't have an existing agriculture, of the possible value chains and the potential, together with opportunities for and avoiding the constraints for development. All projects, socio-economic, all projects that do not take into account the local communities, their social structure and concerns with regard to local agriculture development actions will jeopardize their sustainability. Environment, these components need to be included early in the development of new activities without being a major limiting factor. You need to look after them, but you need to also be wary that they can be a limiting factor as well. And climate change, which has been mentioned before, of course, it, this was realized way back in 2007. Uh, FL start, started seeing impacts of climate change on shellfish farming. Terribly important as a means of mitigation, as, as uh, my namesake said earlier on uh, to fisheries, but as well as adaptation and taking into consideration the profound impacts of changes uh, along the coast that can happen with climate change. So, coming to the end, aquaculture development is an opportunity to develop productive activities, enhance country development, and offer new economic dynamism in communities and countries relying on agriculture or fisheries. Seychelles, after over a decade of planning and preparation, is poised now to make a quantum move forward. As you have seen from the presentations made today, and as you can see from what was found to be some of the critical aspects of successful aquaculture. You can see that many of these aspects have already been built up in Seychelles. So it's got a fairly solid base to launch from. Um, there are a couple of pictures there, one's from Reno, and one's from Madagascar. Always good in this progress forward to look across to some of the other countries in your region one, for the markets and opportunities, and two, to listen to their lessons that they have learned, the ways they have succeeded, and the ways that they have failed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Harris, for the interesting presentation. And we look forward to some fruitful collaborations on aquaculture with some regional countries. As we draw near the end of this auspicious occasion, I invite the CEO of SFA, Mr. Nicole Elizabeth, to deliver his closing remarks. bit taller. Um, Vice President, Mr. Afif, Designated Minister for Fisheries and Blue Economy as well, Mr. Ferrari, all the ministers this afternoon, Principal Secretaries, Excellencies, invited guests, SFA management and staff, and the board and its directors. Welcome and good afternoon. I think 
we want to thank the minister for delivering such a detailed speech and more so the gains of aquaculture to the Seychelles, its economic revenue streams, and as part of food security for Seychelles as well. All the other speakers who enlightened us this afternoon on what is agriculture, aquaculture, sorry, and the happenings of today, especially in the region. As we end today's event, I would like to thank all of you for joining and coming here this afternoon, keeping your family away, uh, to launch the Seychelles aquaculture sector. Your presence today shows a strong commitment to support and participate in this new and vibrant sector for Seychelles. We are grateful for all of you to come here. In particular, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to all the SFA staff who have been working hard to undertake all the research, the development work throughout those years. It's not been easy. I know the journey has not been a soft one, often with a lot of criticisms. We needed to find ways to mitigate all the negative perceptions about this sector by gen the general public. I cannot close this ceremony today without saying thank you to our long-term consulting firm, Advance Africa, who have in one way been working with us for the past decade. It's been a long, long journey, probably a very expensive, expensive journey for SFA and the Seychelles. But we are where we are, and we need to take it from here. If you are listening, watching, we say thank you to you for sharing your expertise with us and being there on that very long journey. I take note with great interest of your valuable interventions, although we've had to end the journey at some point for the reasons we both know. I would like to also thank all the various ministries, departments, agencies, and the civil society through SEPS, and the private sector through SSI, the continued support, for the continued support and the development of the sector. Without you, it would not have been possible to reach this important milestone that we are celebrating today. I'm very proud to see that we are launching the aqua aquaculture sector today. We are celebrating an achievement, although not much, but an achievement. We have to start from somewhere. I know that the real work starts now, but I think the team is mostly ready. Uh, the expectations are high. The management and staffs, we are now gearing up to this very challenge and this very, very long journey ahead of us. And this time, with much more strength and support to steer the sector in the right direction in order to achieve the vision we have set ourselves out to achieve. The SFA board and its management are dedicated. I know we've been talking on this, many subjects, on the board meetings, from the very beginning, and we are ready to push the sector forward to making sure the mandates are achieved. Nous tous, nous pouvons besoin d'un écoute mais là-dedans. Il pas facile. Moi qu'on est lundi, président, il fait meeting avec ben CEO, ben PSs. Tu dis non pour ne pas traîner les pieds. Si nous pouvons traîner les pieds, nous ne pouvons pas arriver quand nous étions, quand nous avions arrivé. Ça veut dire que nous stand on this motto from now on. I look forward to seeing the sector bearing fruits, bringing the investments needed. Ipapu Vasil, we are starting at Expo 2020 in the coming weeks. 
and we will see from there what we get out of there. As promised, I said I will not be long, but you have an empty joke. I said, Mama, I'm too much tranquil, too much fatigue. Get for more joke, pa. But I'll still do it. Um, earlier this week, we had a meeting with Aubrey, and we were looking at the cameras for Paul Vidaspor. So we, we had put like 35 cameras, a project worth over 300,000 rupees. We wanted to improve the security in the port, AFSC, no fight, all the kind of things that are taking place. But when I was looking at the camera, the cameras, the setup, the design, and I saw one camera pointing out towards the airport. Big camera. We had three types of cameras. One, one big cameras pointing out in the direction of the airport. And I said to Aubrey, this camera will get like Elsa. He said, no, see you, Ibezoen, we need it. And I said, Aubrey, this camera will get Kibosa. And he said to me, see you, just looking at my two pawns in the sea. We need to watch, we need to keep an eye on them. So, Aubrey, congratulations at least to making sure you have one big camera looking at your two pawns. Um, Aubrey and your team, we congratulate you. A very special thank you to take us where we are today. And like we say, Johnny Walker, keep walking. And you never leave, walk alone. That's Liverpool. I thank you for attending the launching ceremony, everybody, with us today. We really appreciate. But before we break out, we're ready? Aboy? We wanted to do a little toast to the launch, but apparently we, we have only water on the table. Oh, we have bubbles. We have bubbles. Okay. Do we pour or we don't pour? After the launching, after the website. So thank you very much. And everybody, thank you for coming, and uh, we appreciate. Thank you. Elizabeth for uh, your wonderful words of acknowledgement and indeed the hard work is just about to start. We have reached the highlight of the ceremony and I call on Minister Ferrari and the chairman of the SFA board Mr. Radley Weber on stage um, with uh, Mr. Elizabeth to unveil the new website for the Seychelles Aquaculture. One cannot end the day to such an important event without marking it ceremoniously with a toast. I would ask our guests on stage to do, the, do us the honor of toasting to this auspicious occasion, and you may join as well. Thank you, Minister, Chairman, and CEO. You may go back to your, your speech. We have come to the end of this uh, ceremony. Thank you all for your attendance and support to the SFA team. Please remain in your seats. Refreshments will be served at each table. Thank you all for your presence here today, and have a pleasant rest of the day.